Hey, what's up, everybody? This is DJ Keo, and today I wanted to talk about a ray of sunshine, potentially, and also a dark cloud over the ray of sunshine. Um, so I've been making a bunch of videos on the channel about uh, what we're doing with the beer virus and, you know, how DJs are going to recover and not even just DJs, the entire entertainment industry. And this is one of those things where I think we have to have a talk about how we are going to live with this thing going forward. So um, today I have an article. This is from DJ Mag. Um, dot com. Uh, this article is from October 5th, I think. Yeah, October 5th. And um, this is going to be the first concert hall who's going to attempt to do an on-site rapid test for the beer thing. Um, I like it and I don't like it at the same time. Like, it's, I have a, a weird position about, you know, liberty and personal safety and this kind of thing and basically this is the early stages to the movie Gattaca where you know you have to get your blood pricked before you can get onto the subway so this is how I look at something like this now granted this could be temporary and you know we get a vaccine or they work on some kind of treatment thing and that's fine and you know this things completely overblown or or everybody's going to get implants and swipe their card or have a cell phone to prove who they are and just a whole other beast so this is why i'm hopeful and apprehensive at the same time i'm hopeful that something like this will allow people to go forward living their lives and this can bring life back to the entertainment industry however <laughs> This is going to come with caveats, and it depends on, you know, how far people decide to take this situation. Are we going to go overboard? Are we going to go to Gattaca in 1984 and THX? Are we going that far? Or, you know, we're just going to take a temperature check and take the buddy system and hope for the best? I don't know. All right, so let's get into this article here. Um. So basically, a concert hall in Barcelona is set to be the first venue worldwide to operate a test on entry system. Um, so like there, there's been advancements here where, you know, we've been able to test things rapidly. Like people like Joe Rogan, uh, he does test on his guests before they can come into the thing. And <laughs> hate him or love him, Donald Trump had tests going on in front of the White House. I don't know what happened there. Uh, I don't even want to talk about politics, but like generally you're supposed to get tested before you get to see the president. So I have no idea where the breakdown and with that, with that, um, <laughs> I don't even want to get into politics. Anyways, anyways, moving on. So basically this announcement was made on October 4th that the president is going to have a doctor in hand um, and they're going to try and do a thousand person test. So this is promising. Um, hopefully, well, we're going to see a good two weeks from now. We're going to see if this is going to be a pass or a fail and what lessons we can learn from this. Um, so in an interview with the Ropa press organizers confirmed that the attendees will be the first to give them rapid tests. Um, and at a bonus, you can drink alcohol and to the venue as long as you have zero symptoms and you provide a negative test. Uh, mask and sanitizer will be mandatory. And, but no social distancing restrictions is going to be in place. So, I mean, this is the gift and the curse here. So both Spain and Italy were among the earliest and worst hit countries during the initial thing. And so the decision to close all clubs and venues twice, two times here, uh, was made in August by the Ministry of Health, yada, yada, yada. Um, bars and restaurants always had a 1 a.m. curfew. This is the thing I don't understand about this stuff. To me, it always felt like, and again, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I'm not trying to do that. But it always felt like people in government were making up the rules as they go. Uh, 1 p.m., 1, 1 a.m. curfew makes zero sense. If there's no way that this virus stops working at 1 a.m., like, this is the... 
oh, I got to go home now. So it's 1 a.m. So the virus is going to stop. Like, this is relevant. It doesn't matter what time of day. You know, like, this thing is, the curfew is strictly so that government officials can keep tabs of people and keep tabs of where they are and how long they're going to be at a place. Which I understand, but don't pretend like that curfew is helping anything. It's just for you. So I I, I, I don't want to get in. Anyway, so it says that, uh, and see, across the world, raves and underground parties have been going on, and they haven't been able to stop it. So to me, it only just makes sense that you bring this thing to the forefront and let people do this on the up and up and make let people make money. It just makes sense. Um, yeah, legal open air dance parties and music festivals and just do it on do it on the open. So the resurgence of parties, both licensed and unlicensed, has been proven controversial, uh, with many questioning the safety of such events and even with mask wearing regulations and other measures in place. Um the way I look at it, if mask work and the test work, there should be no reason why you can't open up your venue and allow people to come in and enjoy themselves and go back to having fun. That's all I'm saying. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I was on this thing from day one. You you can check the record. From day one, I was warning everybody about this, and everybody was telling me, ah, it's no big deal. So like that, that's my personal belief here. If masks work and they do what you say they do, we should be allowed to gather in crowds without any issues yes or no <laughs> let me know below if you where you stand on this because some people are not on board and i get it i totally get it and you know like this is a thing where it comes down to your personal health and how you feel about this stuff so i'm i'm, I'm going there that's all i'm going to say this is how i look at it all right so um one interviewer raver spoke with anxiety and feels like the proposal of the prospect of going back to a rave as the beer thing continues could put everybody at risk. And again, I understand it's still transmittable. And he said a warm up promoter, uh, Aiden also touched on this during his interview. He said, uh, I've noticed sadly how divided the scene has become in some aspects. He told us there's almost a 50, 50 split between people who want to go get back to living and doing what they love. And the other half will feel like this is the only way, and it's way too early. Sorry. Um, it's way too early to even consider this. And people are more emotional than right now, which is resulting in cases of public disorder and more and more, more rebellious behavior. Um, yes, <laughs> there are underground parties in every major city across the world right now. It is a fact. And these people aren't wearing masks or even getting tested or even bothering to even make sure people are healthy or whatever. They're just doing a party, you know, <laughs> Comanche style balls out. Like they're just doing a party. So, um, I would prefer if they're doing this, do it up in the open so we can keep track of things like that. Like if somebody gets sick and they went to this club, I would like to know. I want to know what they're doing there and at least have this type of thing public for people to know and understand. I think more being more open to what's happening and being more clear is always better. Uh, what's the saying? Uh, more sunlight is better. Sunlight is the best disinfectant and it should be open. Like if it's open, it's more helpful. Like that's just how I look at it. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, are you ready to get back to doing events and depending on your state or province or wherever, because some places are open, like Florida is open, South Dakota is open, Texas is mostly open, Georgia is open. Uh, it definitely depends on the state. A lot of people are in, you know, states that have more restrictive governors or premiere. So, um, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. 
Uh, anyways, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment below about this entire situation. Uh, are you okay if they do uh, some kind of test at the door? Are you okay to start doing parties again? Uh, do you think it's overblown and you think we should just open up and do it anyway? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh, peace out. <laughs>